I'm Cotton, you're a fucking racist. Everybody knows you're a racist, Tom. We all know. Now you're gonna introduce Bills? Let's talk about Tom Cotton and last year. What you been doing, Tom? Well, I've been a racist. If you were in a Jeff Foxworthy video, they'd say, if you're Tom Cotton, well, you might be a racist. Tom Cotton, you're a fucking racist. In racist news, in the past year, Tom Cotton has introduced a bill to unteach racism. No, 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 no. Quoted as saying as a necessary evil? Racism was necessary? Okay. So, oh, no. Slavery. Slavery is necessary. Well, I guess for a white boy, it was pretty necessary, wasn't it? You know how you know you're a racist? You're white. And you're racist. You brag about being a racist. You say shit you know's racist because you know you're going to get the racist vote in Arkansas. Racist, racist, racist. I was marching for black lives and support of black lives of Black Lives Matter this summer. We were protesting. You called us. You are mainly pointing at black people, though. An orgy of violence? They're protesting because they're getting violently killed by the police, which you love. You wanted the military to respond to quell those protests. Then he introduces a bill that says if you get any federal offenses while protesting in Arkansas, you don't get your unemployment. Tom Cotton, you motherfucker, you want to take food away from humans for protesting? Our oldest, most cherished way to get our voices heard when our voices aren't being heard? Recently, Tom Cotton going against Washington, D.C. being the 51st state. So, let's pretend that those opposing it aren't racist. But Tom made it pretty clear. He got up there and he goes, they got 10 times the amount of miners, 8 times the amount of woodcutters, 13 times the amount of manufacturers. Uh, why, why only got less people than, than Washington, D.C.? I don't need to do the demographics for you. Um, if you want to do some numbers, they got 15 million times the workers than Wyoming does. Um, he goes, it's a well-rounded Working class state. You don't have to turn the volume up on that dog whistle. I think, let me give credit to the freshman, Mondaire Jones, when he said, he, he just, he just did beat around the, the, the bush with it. He was saying, oh, they're upset because Washington, D.C. doesn't have a landfill. He said, well, there's plenty of racist trash. He was talking about you, Tom Cotton. You, racist. Trash. Racist. Trash. Trash. Racist. You're racist trash. You're racist trash. He said all that, you know, Wyoming and all those things. And we're working. Like he says, I didn't know there was that many syllables in white. You're the problem with white. It's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. All right. Um, speaking of Bible verses, Tom, might need to check out Isaiah 117. It says, uh, deliver them that is suffering from wrong. Learn to do good. Seek justice and rebuke the oppressor. See you soon, Tommy.